you know, location is really key in any uh, fishing situation based on their, you know, the seasonal movements of fish. Right now, these walleyes only spawned probably two, two, three weeks ago. So these fish are still very, very close to their spawning areas. In this particular case, we have a great big riprap bank and an old roadbed up here where these fish probably spawned at night when the water temperature was about 46 degrees. But right now, those fish are actually started, starting to actually move out and shift out towards the main lake. And what you're trying to find is big, shallow water flats. That's the real key for finding schools of walleyes. There's one. Ooh, what? boy, he popped it pretty good. That's a better one there. Yeah? Yeah. Netter? Yeah. Probably? Yes. Yeah, that's a good one there. Slow rolling. See, that fish had to hit off the edge. You want to hit that talon down, please? Maybe we can hold in position here Talon down? This is a better size one here. Is it? Yeah. I got you. Come here, buddy. Staying down pretty. Oh, yeah. There we go. Come here, buddy. Nice. Yeah. There you go, James. You know, one thing that's so important about walleye fishing, and no matter what bait you're fishing, is the speed and the retrieve. You know, right now we've actually been fishing a number of different lures. And that one there, I just caught on a, a VMC jig. This is a VMC. This is like an eighth of an ounce with a little three inch boot tail. There we go. The whole thing is really is talking about the relative speed of the bait. And that is so critical for any presentation you happen to be fishing. Right now it's relatively early in the morning and a little bit slower retrieve and slower movement maybe what's necessary to trigger bites. It's amazing how, how many times you can be fishing around a lot of fish and not catch them until you really slow that bait speed down no matter what type of lure you're throwing. You know, even with Troy's throwing like a jerk bait or a minnow bait, sometimes that really super slow rolling retrieve is really critical to get bites. Okay. Talon up. No, here, I'll get it. All right, okay. Oop, there's another Ooh. one. Hey, yeah, how do you like that? <laughs> I went to go you hit the talon, <laughs> and the bait dropped down to the bottom. There's another good one, too. Look at him. Yeah. yeah. You like some assistance on that? Yeah, I'm yeah. starting to like this. Come here, buddy. That is Whoa. still wet from the last time. Yeah. Just, that's, yeah. This one might be a little, look at a little that, bit that. better size one. Yeah. yeah. Come here, buddy. There you go. That was, see, see what I mean? Sometimes, every time when you're out on the water, something happens that'll tell you what the fish are willing to bite on. That time you'll notice, actually, I went to, actually, to we talon down in this position right on the edge of this point, and I just wanted to hold so I could make successive casts in this area. And I went down to hit the talon again. I dropped the bait to the bottom, and this fish hit it. So that definitely tells you something. They may want the bait to be moving a little bit slower. We'll get her back in the water. Come here, buddy. Get you back into the depths here. But it seems like we got something going here. Yeah. And I think speed is the key right now. When it warms up a little bit in the afternoon, maybe the fish will get a little bit more active. Seems like some of these fish are off the ledge. That's one thing when you're walleye fishing. It always, you get up on these flats like this and it really depends on the underwater makeup of that individual flat, how the fish position on it. Because usually when, the, when they go to feed, they get right up on the top of the flat. When the fish are a little bit more inactive, wherever you get those stair step ledges, that's a critical sort of like pivot point that really has a tendency to gather the fish when they're inactive, it seems like. You know, when they get up on the flat and they will start cruising around, when they're actively feeding, hunting perch, in this case, in this lake. There, got him. There we go. Size. Nah, yeah, see? It feels got a little. Is it slow rolling? Yeah, slow rolling. The shadow. I haven't there seen it yet. Looks like a good one. Feels pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, That's not, not too yeah, big. It's just, yeah, just he's a semi, semi flipper. Come yeah. here, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Right. We don't have to get him. They uh, said they've been. Just like this one, you can see, just nip, just nip in the back, like that. And I was just slow rolling that what I'm doing with this, this shadow shad, basically the same thing that James, at least the retrieve, I was kind of matching his retrieve with this, a different, different bait, but matching the speed, nice and slow. I'm gonna get this guy back. That was another fish, he just nipped at it.
Let's see you. We got a warrior <laughs> now. <laughs> starting to get to be pretty fun. Ooh, a little Ooh, bit better oh, one there. Hang on, all right, all right. I see you. Yeah, there Ooh. you go. Yeah, it's a little, uh... Yeah, it's a little sportier model yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you upgraded. Yeah, come here, buddy. There you there go. You now you're talking. <laughs> Beautiful fish, though. Look at him. Gorgeous. You know, that's one thing when you look at, uh... Wildlife fishing, you know, sea quetch, or you know, throughout the course of the year, so many people fit, really have the tendency to fish really uh, too deep for these fish. They figure, you know, live bait rigging and jigging, you know, where you're fishing 10 to, uh, you know, 15 foot of water. But a lot of times these fish are shallow, especially particularly early season like this, because one thing that's really critical is a lot of the food. The food is shallow. Spot tail shiners and the perch are actually coming up to spawn in shallower water and are up on these flats and actually that warming water temperature the shallow flats are warming faster than the deeper water basins so a lot of the food is gathering on these flats so there you go I just had one you just had another one Oop. yeah mark mark I know I had a strike right before that I missed one too that one that just swung at the bait yeah that's what this one just kind of popped it it's a fun time of the year for walleye fishing. I like fishing walleyes like this where it's almost more like bass fishing. You know, where you're you know, aggressively moving along, you know, casting. One thing that's really critical when you get in these shallow water conditions is actually casting out away from the boat. If you're dragging or drifting, you know, and just dragging baits, one thing that's really critical is definitely to get the baits away from the boat because even in, you know, we're in the eight, nine foot of water, the boats or the fish have the tendency to spook away from the boat. You got to get the baits away from the boat. 